evening everyone and welcome to Live Bird TV. So there's some weird, 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 uh, well when you say rumours now, because quite a lot of uh, people that are quite high up in football are talking about it, but there's a surprise link with Jared Brainthwaite that Liverpool have made a bid of between 65 and 75 million for him. Now I know Everton are desperate to sell him because they could be hit with another 10 point deduction and even Sean Dyche did say that there's a chance that he would definitely be leaving. He only said that a day ago. Uh, this piece of, I'm just reading here comes from the Anfield Watch, and it just says, uh, it's going up here, there has never been any credible insight to back up rumours linking Liverpool with a move for Everton's Jared Brainthwaite, so why should we believe this latest frenzy? The 22-year-old Toffee centre-back is seen as one of the hottest young talents in the country, a player former Reds boss Jurgen Klopp openly admired in the latter part of his Anfield reign. And while Vir Virgil van Dijk, who's heading into the final year of his current Anfield contract, and Gomez apparently about to depart Merseyside, you can kind of see why the rumours are coming up again. On Sunday night, which is obviously now, bookmakers including Skybet and Bet365 released updates saying they were slashing their odds for brain freight to what would normally be highly consumption moved across Stanley Park, with the latter saying that his odds are uh, on 4-5 to five from 8-1. to one. 8-1 to one to be a Liverpool player at the end of the current transfer window is now been slashed to 4-5 to five odds on. Why are the rumours make why does the rumours make zero sense? Anybody getting remotely excited about the prospect of Branthwaite in a red shirt in September should just calm down right now for a number of reasons. First of all, perhaps most importantly, the price. Man United have already been twice bid twice for Branthwaite. Bramfweight having been quoted at an outrageous 80 million for his services. Not surprising, both of their bids appear to have fallen well short. When people talk about the Man United tax, they'd be right, plus every other tax in the case, this case. Bramfweight is a young English talented uh, centre back playing in the Premier League. But don't you think the tax United have been quoted would be just as high for a move to Everton's local rivals? Of course it would. And if Liverpool would, wouldn't pay 50 million for a potential talent like Lenny Yero, why would Richard Hughes and the Anfield Brains trust uh, to pony up 30 million more for Bramfield? We call it bullshit. Now, yeah, I can see that. But the other thing to bear in mind here, and this is important, is the way betting on football transfers work. Basically, it's mostly a market employed by smart firms who know they will get a ton of column inches by quoting odds on big money moves. They've also had a win here because we've sat here writing this on a Sunday night. Uh, it does not make take it, it does not take massive amounts of money to significantly change the odds on the transfer market. Bookmakers are terrified of the inside information in play, so they normally limit the amount somebody can bet. So a few smallish bets can really change the market big time. So while all those football uh, general football sites can talk it up with all they want, we'll stick to our guns and say this makes zero sense. It goes against all of the perceived Merseyside football wisdom for so many reasons. Plain and simple, we are out. And I kind of get that. But even uh, Mark Goldbridge now from United Stand, he's 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 tweeted about it. So it is it is getting out there. It is definitely being spoke about in, in, in a numerous amount of uh, topics and places. But I'll try and see if there's anything else before I end this video. Uh, so this is this this was uh, the first bit I read. But let's just see if anything else has come up. On Jared Brainford. Uh, did, 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 I'm just trying to see if there's any sort of credible shock. Six hours ago, four hours ago, uh, Anfield Watch 44 minutes ago. Let's click on that one. <coughs> so, pardon. So, just waiting for it to load. Jared Brainford to Liverpool. Again, says. Yeah, it's just it's more or less just the same. It's just they're going along with the same regards to they think it's a load of crap. But let's see what else people are doing with. Oh, my mate works for Enf Whistle Green in Liverpool. Supposedly Jared Brainfreak has been in twice this week. House hunting. Make of that what you want. That's a lad on Twitter. Uh, someone somewhere has looked. Uh, somewhere somewhere has, has put a chunk of money on Jared Brainfreak being a Liverpool player. Question is why. So somebody's put on a big, big amount in Liverpool in terms of him going to Liverpool. This brain weight stuff is hilarious. As Liverpool fans have got so desperate for news, we've turned to the bookies to make some. Uh, 
and then another one, Mark Goldridge. So this is Mark Goldridge now from the United Stand. Imagine Everton have to sell Branthwaite to Liverpool because they messed up a deal with us. Laugh out loud. Sure, their fans will be ecstatic. So he, even he's going on about it. And then another fan here. I see the bookies in the UK are openly stealing money from even gullible Liverpool fans. And then again, another one. Liverpool favourites to sign Jared Breffitt according to Skybet. If you don't know what that means, then basically if you put a tenner on Branthwaite to join Liverpool with Skybet, you will lose your tenner and you are stupid enough that you deserve to lose that tenner. <laughs> That's quite funny. If Branthwaite is sold to Liverpool, I'm done with football. And that must be an Evertonian. Yeah, hearing Branthwaite has been house hunting Liverpool. Now, it's a second scouser that said that. Don't usually do the whole info anymore, but what was told last week that Branthwaite has been house hunting in Liverpool, make of that what you want. Well, that's a bit daft, isn't it? He plays for Everton, the Liverpool-based club, so he could be house hunting because he's staying at Everton. So that doesn't make any sense. We'll take out of that what you want. I can't see this deal happening. I don't think that Bramthwaite will come to Liverpool because it all depends on how desperate Everton are and, and if they're panicking like hell. I mean, they need the money because they don't want to get a 10-point deduction. Are they going to have to save face and think to ourselves, right, we don't want to lose a player to Liverpool, but we also don't want a 10-point deduction. We need to get him sold now to balance the books and not get that happening again. Who knows? Keep, keep tuned in. If anything happens, developments, I'll do a part two to it. You'll never walk alone.